Today I will talk about how you can build custom controls to reuse code in your own apps. Welcome to a new .NET MAUI video. Today I will talk about custom controls. And with custom control I mean controls that you build and reuse. It can be just in your app or it can be in all of your apps. And there are a few different ways you can build them. Uh, and you can create a .NET MAUI control and then you can implement it with handlers on all platforms. But today we will focus on doing everything in .NET MAUI and then we can focus on handlers in a video later. So subscribe to my channel so you don't will miss that. But now we will open Visual Studio and start to write some code. Okay, so now we are inside of Visual Studio. I just created a new .NET MAUI app and we will start from there. If you wonder what this is, it's a bug in the latest version of Visual Studio for Mac uh, that they show up. So we don't have to care about that at all. So what we will do now is that we will create a use control or a control or a custom control or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I used to call them custom control. So we create a folder controls and then we add a new file a dotnet maui content page summer should we not use it should use content view then you can change the base class later if you want to so let's do a card control uh, like this and now we can use it just like it is if we want to so we go to our main page, we import the namespace, call it controls, CLR, namespace, and custom control demo dot controls. Uh, then we can remove all other content from here and we just add controls card control so so simple is it to get started with a custom control but now we of course want to modify it so it can look how we want to and of course we want to have some properties there too so we can start going here to card control.saml.cs and we can add a title property and if we want to bind to that property we need to create uh, bindable property so we do public bindable property and give it the name and the, the name should be the name of the property but it should end with property so title property like this and now we do is equal to uh, bindable bindable property dot create and a name and here I prefer to use name of so let's go and create uh, the actual property public string title and we need a getter and the getter should return the value of the title property so we use get value method from the base class and then we pass title property and then as string and set a set value title property and value just like that okay now we can use name of here name of title and here is the return type and that is string so we do type of string and the next here is dec declaring type and that should be the type of the custom control so type of card control and then we can set the default value if you want to and we can set binding modes and we can do some other stuff uh, so let's do property changed and bindable old value new value just like this And we do so. 
so it will be an action. So now we can handle when the title property changed. So we can, for example, do like this: control is uh, card control and then bindable. So we need to do that because we are not able to access the property from the control. Otherwise, uh, this should also be static, and we can also make it read only like this. So, okay, so now we can go to the control, can give this label a name like uh, title label. We can remove that default text. Then we can go here and do control dot title label, title label dot text is equal to new value as string. Like this. Okay, and now we can go here to main page. And we can set title is hello Maui from Daniel. Okay, let's try to run it. Hello Maui from Daniel. And now we, we can reuse this control multiple times if we want to. Hello again. Hello again. But we maybe want to do something more excited when we call this a card control. Maybe we want to make it an actual card. So we go inside here, uh, we add a frame and now we can select if we want to use frame directly as the base class of the control. In some way that is good because that will be less controls to render in the UI but that also open up to set all the properties of frame from outside. So sometimes you maybe don't want that. So we do like this instead. Frame. Have a vertical stack layout in it. And we have uh, the title label still here. And now as a second item in this uh, vertical stack layout, we want the user to be able to insert content. And for that, we can use something called content presenter and content template. Uh, so we insert the content presenter here and there is where our content will be. But to make this work, we also need a control template. We do content view dot control template. And then we create a control template. And then we wrap our frame into that like this. And now as you can see here, we are not able to do it like this. So we remove this uh, property changed handler. And instead we do uh, like this. We can remove the name because we don't need that. Uh, we don't want to be vertical option center. So we do just, just text, then we do template binding and now we can go to the main page and then we can also do like this we add some content to the card control like let's say a new vertical stack layout with label text label one label two okay now we can see how this will look and here we have the frame, the first control. Hello, Maui from Daniel, the title that we passed into the property here. And then we have the content. And that means that we, in the second card control here, we can have a complete different uh, content if we want to. We can, for example, do a horizontal stack layout. And we take the labels label three, label four, and then we also do font size large. And it will look like this. And that makes it possible for us to create a general card control for, as in this example. We can have a fixed layout of it, but we are also able to insert content. And this makes the control very flexible. So it's up to you how you want it to work and it depends on what type of control you need. But as you can see, it's very easy to create your own controls like this in 
Dotnet Mau, and that also makes things very reusable. So this was a short video, but that shows also how easy it is to get started building your own custom controls that you can reuse everywhere in your app. And you can also package them up in a Nougat package and use in all of your apps. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and we see you next time. Bye bye.